Hey guys, welcome back to the Top Rock series of CDA's Beginner Breakdance Tutorials. I'm your host Ben Lee and today we're going to be going over how to put everything together. Here we go. Alright, so we've, uh, we've learned all our different moves. Now, how do we put everything together? All right, I want to introduce you guys to, to a couple of techniques. Um, spin, spinning uh, and zipping. Um, and and arm angles, different different heights and different levels. Yeah. So let's start off with uh, with spinning. So when you cross your your feet over like this, all you need to do is turn. It's corkscrew, corkscrew type motion. Yeah. So for example, if you go the kick twist and then want to spin, and then from here you can go kick twist other side. Yeah. Stuff like that. Practice, practice with the other moves. Um, I'm sure that you can find other moves that you can you can do the spin on. Yeah, cool. Uh, so spinning. Now, uh, what else do we have? Um, zip. Okay. So at the end of your run, to make it look nice and clean, I always say that you should zip. All right. Now zip is just your feet coming out. Uh, I have my hands out as well. And then what you're gonna do is jump a little bit, just enough to be able to slide your feet together. Yeah. So you don't want to do a big jump and then and then like go bang. You want to just enough to slide your feet together, making it nice and clean. Yeah. And your hands go out from here. Boom. Nice and clean. Yeah. So for example, I'm doing I'm doing a set out zip, and then you can walk out of your side. Yeah? Alright, so that was the spins, zips, uh, double ups. So, when you're doubling up on, on a move, uh, for example, the Indian step, so from here, back, here, back. Now, if you want to double up on this side, you go Indian step, pick it up, and go again before you go other side. Yeah? So, bum, bum, ha, bum, ha, bum, bum, ha, da. Yeah, so doubling up. You can do that with uh, a lot of other moves as well. So experiment, try and figure it out yourself. Yeah. Um, one last thing is to to try and play around with different height levels. Yeah. So I'm just going to do the Indian step because that's the easiest the easiest thing to show. But if you're doing the Indian step, you've got you've got a high level where you're up nice and tall, right? Then you've got medium level. Boom, boom. Yeah, and then you've also got low. Yeah, so differentiate between these different levels and your dance will start to look more dynamic, will start to look better rather than two-dimensional. Alright? Um, let, me, let me rock a couple of counts of eight. I'll just freestyle some stuff and uh, let you guys have a look. Alright, here we go. Okay guys, so that's how you put it all together. Make sure you keep practicing. Obviously, the more times you practice a move, the better you're gonna get at it. All right? Most importantly, have fun with it, and stay tuned for our next tutorial series, which will involve go-downs or drops. All right, till next time, peace.